Welcome to Crimson Ad Talks. I'm your host FZ, sitting down with Aria Laka, a Brown University alum and the current director of Crimson Capstone. Last time we talked about how to identify a passion, and this week I want to go even further. Once a student has identified that passion, you know how do they even turn that into a feasible? A、uh, realistic capstone project, and I'd love to hear your thoughts, Aria. Sure. So, completing a capstone project is really significant to a student's application journey. And so, one thing that a student at Crimson will do is reflect on their passions and interests with their strategist. And you, with their strategist, the student will ask themselves a few questions. They'll answer, "What problem am I trying to solve? And what impact do I hope to make?" And what this will do is really define the focus and objectives for the student's capstone project, so that they can get to work on it and really and really start excelling in it. Yeah, hundred percent. Finding the idea, identifying the problem,、uh, is absolutely critical. I, I think sometimes you know students kind of do capstone for the sake of doing capstone, so they don't. Um, you know, really, really understand. I guess you know the direction they're、uh, that they're heading to, and that's definitely not advisable. So we need to really identify that problem. So I guess after getting through this、uh, starting point, right, the student have identified their goals already, assuming that they they now have this goal.、Uh, what are the next steps that it should take? Research is the next step. So. Once students know what they want to do, they've identified the problem that they want to solve. They should be researching, and how they can do this is to look at existing literature. They should be seeing what have other people done to solve this problem. How can they make their solution more unique? Will the solution actually work?、Uh, this is really important groundwork because it will enhance the depth of the project and also the credibility of the project. And it will also help the student further refine their idea because they'll be able to see if their idea is even feasible or not. Yeah, hundred percent. I think yeah, market research is is crucial. Some students cannot dive into their project straight away without understanding. Okay, if this thing is even feasible, or you know, if they're Are already many other solutions, very mature solutions, already tackling these problems. So I think knowing what the field、uh, looks like before you spend a lot of time on it is pretty smart. How can students ensure that their capstone project really, you know, this idea really stand out、um, and, and can demonstrate their passion and expertise、uh, in the future? I think students should really leverage their own. Yes. So, if a student has a particular strength, let's say it's art, then they should absolutely enhance that within their capstone project.、Uh, so, this could be through design.、Uh, this could be through art workshops. Really focusing on that strength, and then another way that students can really make their capstone projects unique is by collaborating with others. When you collaborate with others, when you have a team, this really enhances and shows universities that you have leadership skills, and it also furthers your impact, and that will help you stand out in the college application process. Building that connection with、uh, your own experience. Um, or, or background, or knowledge, or expertise, and sometimes you know combining multiple of your、uh, interest areas together, I think will definitely help your project stand out. That's great advice.、Uh, as students work on their capstone projects,、uh, what resources or support system available to help them along the way? So at Crimson, we have capstone advisors as resources. Students can also look to their teachers. They can look to industry professionals. Or any advisors for clubs that they have, these people are usually willing to provide really valuable feedback.、Uh, we also recommend that students network and just seek advice from professionals. Additionally, there's also online communities and workshops, which can also offer valuable insight and resources for students. Fantastic! Awesome.、Um, I guess. You know, it's clear that completing a capstone project really requires,、um, you know, dedication, creativity, and support. You know, at Crimson, we're very committed to helping students、uh, go through that journey as well, so that eventually they can really create、uh, capstone projects that can generate, you know, real social or commercial value. Thank you, Aria, for sharing your expertise on this topic. And that's all for today's episode of Crimson Ad Talks. Until next time.